Hi, welcome to Ned's Garden. Today, I'm going to take this pothouse, which had previously been hanging in my apartment, and trellis it up against the wall to make a living wall, or what I'm calling living wallpaper. To do that, I'm using this plant, which is pretty overgrown, and you might be familiar with an overgrown pothos. Some of the leaves near the base of the plant start to get yellow and wear off. And when the plant is hanging, this doesn't look great. But I have a feeling that when I'm trellising the vines upward, it will be less noticeable since these will be low, close to the ground, as opposed to high, near eye level. To make this living wallpaper, I have a pothos, I have a cash pot, and I have these clear command hooks. Now there's two important things to consider before I string this up against the wall. The first one is that the leaves will bend towards the light. So in this case, my windows are over there, so all of the leaves are going to turn that way. This is something important to consider because you'll want to think about where you're looking at your living wallpaper from, and ideally you want the leaves pointed in that same direction. You don't want to be looking at the backs of the leaves. Secondly, once I string up all of these vines, it's going to be very difficult to move the plant or the pot. So I'm going to pick very carefully where I want to set this pot before I start stringing up the pot those vines. I want to leave a little bit of slack in the vines just in case I need to move it to clean around the pot or lift it up. Being very careful, I'm going to set down my pothos into the cash pot. Now what I'm going to do is organize the vines out into a line on the floor so that I can see which ones are the longest, and this will help me decide how I want to splay them out on the wall. They're going to get tangled, and it's the time when you need to be the most cautious because it's easy to pull off the leaves. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to take the longest vine leaves and string them up against the wall. And I'm going to start by putting a hook kind of around this level, around the two foot mark, to provide that base level of support. With each hook that I put up, I'm going to try to put them at the same height vertically. This will give each vine the same tension and slack points and create an even look as I train it up the wall. I'm actually going to place the hook facing sideways because I know that the plant is going to lean and push towards the light. At this point, I've strung up all the vines for my living wallpaper, and I have one, two, and even a third tier right there. Over the next couple of days, the plants will start to bend towards the light, and it'll get a much neater look. Now I'm going to give the plant a nice healthy water because I've put it under a lot of stress, and it's time to enjoy our living wallpaper. Thanks for tuning in. This is Ned's Garden. You can subscribe on YouTube right here, or follow us on Instagram at Ned's Garden 69 Thanks.